What's going on guys? Today we will see how can Wazoo be used to investigate cyber incidents. Let's begin. So this is our Wazoo dashboard and here we can see the number of added agents as well as we can inspect the configuration of each agent. Agents are deployable executables that you can use in the workstation you wish to monitor. In Wazoo we can inspect the security events that may indicate malicious activities. It's very crucial to make sure that the timeline as well as the index of your data is configured correctly to get the best accurate results for your investigation. In the events dashboard, we can see the number of triggered events categorized as well as other details about each event. We can also inspect the rules that triggered the event. Rules can also be viewed and checked in case you wanted to change the configuration of a... In the practical scenario, we are going to investigate a cyber attack that hit Swift Spend Finance again. The attack was delivered through an Excel document, create a scheduled task for persistence and exfiltrated sensitive data. Using Wazoo, we will be uncovering the artifacts of this attack as part of the incident response process. Make sure to adjust the timeline as given in the room's instructions. Let's begin. Initial access was established using a downloaded file. What is the file name saved on the host? First, make sure that you selected the right index that shows the correct number of entries. Next, we will choose Event Data Command Line field and add it to the viewable columns so that we can inspect the executed commands on the host. We will need to sort in a descending order to view the events in a chronological order. As you can see, after some scrolling, we can find the PowerShell command that downloaded the file, which happens to be an Excel document. Now just copy the file name and you can answer the question. Next question. What is the full command run to create a scheduled task? We can enter in the search bar the name of the application that's used to schedule tasks in Windows. Don't forget to verify the right index. Now we came up with a list of the commands executed to schedule tasks. The second command creates a scheduled tasks that runs daily at 1234. This is the answer for the second question. Next question, what time is the scheduled task meant to run? In the same command, we can see that, that it is scheduled to run daily at 1234, which happens to be the right answer. Next question, what was encoded? To answer this question, we will need to view the parent command, which can be seen using the parent command line field. We add it to the viewable columns. Then in the second entry, we see the command used to create a scheduled task. And we can also see that the parent command is executed through PowerShell. If we look close in the main command, we see a base 64 string, which can then be copied and decoded using CyberChef to give us the right answer for this question. We can see that the scheduled task is created to communicate with this domain, which is the main C2 server used by the attacker. Next question, what password was set for the new user account? To answer this question, we can search using the net command that is used to manage users in Windows OS. After some scrolling, we can see that the command used to create a user named guest with the password I am monitoring. This is a kind of persistence mechanism the attackers use to make sure they have constant access to the system whenever they need. Next question, what is the name of the executable file that was used to dump credentials? So here we are looking for an executable file that is used to dump credentials in Windows. Guess what, the most popular one is Mimikatz, which can be used in the search bar. We can see all the instances where Mimikatz was used. And here we can see the application name used to dump the credentials. Dot, this is our right answers. And last question, data was exfiltrated from the host. What was the flag that was part of the data? Data exfiltration is when the attacker uploads and channels the data to their server. Here we are looking for a pattern that start with THM, since this is the flag pattern. We can use THM in the search bar and let Wazoo give us all the log entries where THM is mentioned. We can see it is spotted as part of PowerShell command used to exfiltrate data. So now we conclude the room with this last question. I hope you guys found this informative and I will see you later. Cheers.